Hey, so today I want to share another Mark Britt gem, which is Honesty Hour from iFlix. And the principle behind it is that as leaders, we must earn the right to hear the questions that are on our team members' minds, their fears, their anxieties, what's burning at the back of their minds that they're not telling us directly to our faces. It's not enough as leaders to simply say, hey, I have an open door policy. Come to me if you've got any questions or concerns. Rarely is someone going to take you up on that. Or it's not enough to have these town hall type meetings where you present your plans and strategies and then ask people to put up their hands, come to the mic and say, ask me any questions. Because it's difficult for people to really go out there, put themselves out in the open and ask questions that's really burning. And yet it's important as us leaders to find ways to really unearth what's really uh, troubling our, our team members' minds. And so the principle of Honesty Hour is having these forums where we provide the power of anonymity, where people can ask things without their identity being revealed. When we were small, we started with post-it notes. We got them to write their questions, and we compile all the post-it notes, and as leaders, we have to answer every single question directly. People will know if you're trying to fudge. People will know if you're trying to corporate wash a particular question. As we scale into multiple locations, we move to the power of uh, anonymous Google Forms where people could ask questions uh, without the identity being revealed. So same principle. And as leaders, we are judged by our ability to really confront the tough questions, whether it is something like, uh, how much money do we have left? Are we going to run out of money? Or that project didn't really work. What happened to it? Right? And as leaders, we really must ask, answer those questions to be able to have that credibility and for people to be willing to ask the next follow-up questions, which could turn into opportunities for new ideas that we had not thought about before. And so um, I've had many examples of ideas that came from these instances where people were raising their grievances about uh, what happens at work. And actually, you could turn that into even revenue-generating um, opportunities. And so um, I wish you luck in trying to find ways in which you can um, get as much of the information, surface it, the, the concerns that people have on our teams, and as leaders, answer them honestly.